So today's video is just going to be a really quick video. It's more of a message video. It's a message for anybody who's got mocks. I know some people may have had their mocks, so I'm sorry if this isn't very helpful, but I wasn't really sure what else to film, so I thought I'd pick this topic. In to film. I know some people don't have them or are about to have their mocks, and I know some don't have them till January, like me. I'm my English mock at the end of January. All this is going to be something last minute to think about, and some last minute advice. First thing. And I know you can see my nail polish and not. The thing is think about to think about is you should be treating these mocks like the real thing. See if as something that counts it kind of does, kind of doesn't count. In a way you can see where you are. And it doesn't count in the fact that those grades are not realities, sort of the way I sort of see it in a way. I think in maths it particularly helps to revise for mocks. And I think in maths that particularly helped me revising for my mocks and then revising it again because it wasn't like new content, like stuff I'd already gone over before. Helps you. It also helps for the real thing because it means you've kind of gone over the content again. So you're like really learning how to apply it. I find that you do a mock, you come home, revise for the next one, like it really counts. Doing all these things, like the slog of revision, putting away your, my phone, getting productive, like, like I care about the result I'm going to get, really helps. The work you do for your mocks will mean You'll thank yourself when you get to the real thing. Another thing to remind yourself is get off your phone. I'm guilty, so just guilty, so tempted to sit there like scrolling away on my phone. Scrolling through social media instead of preparing for these mocks that <laughs> you should be thinking about preparing for. Don't watch pointless videos, it's fine if you want to watch revision videos, but if the tips are have a clean workspace, make sure your room is tidy, have neat pretty notes, all that kind of pointless stuff. It's not really benefit to watch good revision videos to watch Primrose Kit and Maths and Science because this woman goes through it all. My GCSE science, Mr. Bruff, and I'm always blabbing about course heroes. All these benefiting people. Come up with the maximum amount of time you want to spend on social media each day. If you're bad for going on your phone, say to someone in your family, so, yo, take away my phone at this time and don't give it back to me till I have done some revision. Or use website blockers if you have to. This is the most important thing and I really do val by this tip. Don't stress, as long as you try your best, that's all people can ask for you. At the end of the day, mocks are there to help prepare you for the real thing. Look after your mental health. Remember, you cannot com remember. Don't compare yourself to other people. Your best is your best, not anybody else's. Bust out all those good revision techniques. You can do these. This get past papers. Intake regular breaks. Make sure you do stuff you enjoy. Get enough sleep. Do relaxing things before you go to bed and all that good stuff so I know this was just quite a quick video so I hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to like comment subscribe and I will see you 
in another video. Bye.